Before I became a teenager, I had a vast fear of windows. Well, not necessarily windows, but what could happen if I stood by certain windows? I suppose I watched too many hitmen action films. Considering the fear of me being sniped to that turned me into a paranoid adolescent. The darkness was my friend for many, many years. Frederick Nietzsche once said, whoever fights monsters should see to it that in the process he does not become a monster. And if you gaze long enough into an abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. Now, that quote, that quote makes a lot of sense to me. Everything I hate is in the abyss that was created by my morals. Earlier today, I woke up from what I'm not sure was a dream, a vision, or a nightmare. In this series of thoughts and images, I stood paralyzed as I gazed at a woozy version of myself with no legs or arms laying nearly lifeless on a slab of cement that replicated a king-size bed. On top of the handicapped version of myself was a woman. A woman who looked absolutely hideous and revolting. She loved to stick her tongue out at me as if she was mocking me for being in a position I was in. She had what looked like a snake's tongue and also she had a tattoo on the upper right side of her neck that indicated her love for capitalism. I stood in front of this monstrosity and looked at myself being fucked and killed. I then looked on to the other side of the room and there sitting under the illumination of a lamp was a man dressed in nothing but beluga whale and Tasmanian tiger. As he sniffed what looked like white lines prior to looking at my predicament and laughing at the sight of me being tortured, etc, etc. After zooming in, I came to the realization that he was sniffing a single filed line of sheep. Yes, he was getting high on a obedient line of mammals. It became obvious to me that the man's name was fascism and the woman's name was imperialism. <laughs>